Something else that um, that Shug mentioned when he was on that PVD podcast is that, uh, and I never heard this, and you know, I know you he never heard you never heard, that before? never heard that before. <laughs> no, 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 I never heard that before. <laughs> <laughs> um, but he said he wanted to make Ruthless and Death Row together as one company, and that he respected Easy, and when he went to meet with Easy, you know, to get him to sign off on the releases or whatever, that he brought two documents one for just doc michelle and dre and then one for those three and all the ruthless artists so that they could be one company um this is also the segment where he um he said which was i was i was surprised at and i'll get your thoughts as to what you think this means but he said that dre wanted easy dead did you hear that? And do you have any thoughts on, I know that was a lot in one question, but um, I guess, do you have any thoughts on that segment regarding Easy, Dre, and Ruthless? Well, we'll cut the easy one first. <laughs> Should, <laughs> with that uh, blaming Dre for being the one that wanted them dead. Should tried to destroy my record company with the help of others, Dre, so right now we're getting everything back together and we finna come out, you know, fully loaded. Please look at me and, and look at Easy and say, you know, what do I need a bat to, you know, to force him to do a few things? Uh, I mean, if I, if I stood up tall and that Eric was, if he walked between my legs, excuse my friends, people probably would think he was my penis. <laughs> so... <laughs> uh, I came in the office and he and Easy were talking. And uh, I said, what's going on here? And Easy said, you know this guy, Suge Knight? And I said, yeah. He says, well, I'm going to kill him. He said, this guy's going to be a problem, and I think I should kill him. And wow. I, said, I said, let me think wow. this. I said, let me think this thing through. I said, first of all, we're doing $10 million a month with six employees. We don't even have a typewriter in the office. I said, we're the most successful startup record company in the history of, of the, the music business, and you want to kill this guy? I said, that just doesn't make any sense to me. And you know something? I should have let him kill him. But he ain't going to do that because they're from Compton <laughs> together. <laughs> that's Shug, y'all. That's the Shug. Shug. Shug's very entertaining. <clears throat> uh, he know how to talk. You know how to say what people want to want to hear. Dre didn't want Easy dead. He he tricked him. He did trick him to get him up at the studio, so Suge and his people could do get signed what they felt they needed to get signed. Apparently, but I, Dre don't seem to have that type of uh, uh, um, hatred or, or 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 guts or. He didn't, from what I know of Dre, he didn't appear to be like that towards uh, Mills. <laughs> Catch that, Mills. <laughs> but, uh, so I just think that's just Shug, Ben Shug, you know. All right. I'll just leave that there as far as that part. Um, the ruthless uh, death row thing. <laughs> that was a, a discussion because they were trying to get the, the N.W.A. Re, re, reunion. Yeah, we could do an N.W.A. reunion album if it's on Death Row. Mm -hmm. you know Death saying? Row. Without yeah. Easy. Without it's Easy. It's called N.W.E. N.W.E. You know? <laughs> <laughs> Niggas without Easy. And they were talking about doing a reunion. And shit, the whole thing was, hey, if it's going to be a reunion, it's going to be on Death Row. And, and the talks of that. You know, that's between priority records and Shug. Shug has always had a great relationship with Brian Turner. And I think uh, uh, Easy always had a great relationship with Brian as well. And that's just probably when they was negotiating the uh, the Dre uh, stuff. Because as y'all, I always told y'all, priority has always had a ownership, even still to this day, of anything that, part, that Dr. Dre puts out on agreement. If y'all ever notice... If y'all go and look at the stuff when Universal just had a, a, or Interscope just had a straight deal with Universal, anything that Dre was on, 
Priority Records label was on the back as the distributor as well. So that would be why she and them had ever talked about Ruthless or Death Row. That's the only reason. Now, the, <clears throat> the two different contracts. Yeah, she was trying to get all of them. He was trying to get her Chanel, which was a group above the law. DOC, of course. And all of them was called, you know, reach out to him and say, hey, we want you to be our manager. We want you to be our manager. And they was trying to get away from Eric at that time. But he, uh, is that the contract where he supposedly wrote something like uh, F.U. or something like that on it? Maybe that was the one that he signed that way or something? I don't know. But he definitely did sign the one for Dre, Miss Chalet, and I believe the D.O.C. one for those three to, uh, to get released. And he signed those. He later sued and said it was done under the under uh, force or, or, or threats and all of that because he supposedly told him he knew where his mo mother lived and all of that. Well, shit, who didn't know where people's mamas lived in Compton? Eh? That wasn't no mystery. Uh, but, uh, yeah, something like that. was. It, it, uh, Eric was supposed to claim in his, law, his lawsuit. And if anybody ever wonder what happened to that lawsuit? It got dropped once he died. Uh, and everything just went away, but um, um, that will be the takes. That's the real on those those subjects. I know I kind of stuttered through it a little bit because uh, it's touchy touchy situations because of talking about those situations because um, that did cause a lot of hurts to the Easy family, and, and 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 you know I got a lot of respect for Little E and and now. And I'm um, a big bruiser. And so that's why I'm tiptoeing and trying to be politically correct. But that would be the three examples of why. Uh, number one, the, the talk about the ruthless and death row thing was mainly about a re, a re, reuniting. Don't y'all even remember at one time they were talking about even still doing it? And they were going to have either Quick or Snoop be, play easy part after he died. Uh, remember, there was some talk even like that, but it never came, you know, it never, you know, ended up happening because Ice Cube started blowing up with West Side Connection and, you know, Dre eventually left that row. But that would be something for the comment section. Who do y'all think would have been better EZ if they would have been able to got NWA back together? Who would you have liked to see in it? Because I know there was talks of DJ Quick. And then I know there was talks of Snoop playing easy. My vote, to be honest, shockingly, and y'all know I'm a Snoop groupie <laughs> uh, when it comes to music, I think Quick would have been a better easy. Peace bomb first.